Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are talking about a passion of mine, which is all things hair care, and we are talking about John Frieda, and we are talking about the deep sea hydration. So deep sea hydration, it's a sulfate-free formula, shampoo and conditioner range. We're going to be talking about this one today. And do you know what? It is really, really good. So if you're there waiting, is it any good or not? It's really, really good. However, okay, I'm just going to put that out there and we're going to go into more detail. It is really good and I really like it. However, <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this. So straight away, why deep sea hydration moisturizing shampoo conditioner range so it is a sulfate free formula it's vegan friendly formula so it's got no sls and no sles so sodium lithium sulfate and i'm not quite sure what the e is in the other one but it's around those sulfates and very often you find those in products which give that really intense lather that real almost slightly over the top so if you've ever used a little bit of shampoo or a little bit of conditioner and it's gone to a real rich formula a real rich lather and you thought wow that's really intense then probably it's because it's got sulfates in there now sulfates aren't necessarily a bad thing in fact they can be a good thing and they are really good because my issue is all around that, to be quite honest with you. So why are they really good? So, for example, if you're somebody who uses a lot of hair product, like me, in case I've got long hair here, it's done up in like a, a top knot in the back here, um, just to my shoulders now, coming up to my shoulders. And um, if I use a lot of product, then I need a good shampoo to give me that real revitalization, that real deep, thorough cleanse to look after my hair follicles and the lengths and ends of my hair to remove all that product buildup. So sulfates are really good at that. However, if you've got fine, fine hair, and um, possibly you've got some concerns around hair loss, hair thinning, then absolutely a sulfate-free shampoo is a really great alternative to use to look after and have that kind of prevention, that safeguard to your scalp, your hair follicles. However, once you're using root lifting sprays and hairsprays and all those weird and wacky wonderful things to be able to achieve our hairstyles then you really do need to sometimes just evaluate do i actually need to be using a sulfate shampoo to be able to not strip the natural oils and that shine from your hair but that product build up okay so let's go into a little bit more detail so a moisturizing shampoo so straight away love the packaging absolutely love john frieda um i've recently just reviewed a Oh, I can't remember it isn't uh, the name of it now, but it's a pro filler, I believe, thickening shampoo, conditioner and spray. I'm still actually using that. It's really, very good. Um, and I've used this a handful of times. Um, I like it. If it was on offer, I would buy it again, but I wouldn't set out to say that I loved it and that I would buy it forever and ever and ever. If it was on offer, I would buy it. It is a good system, however, and we'll go into that in more detail. Okay, so deep sea hydration. I absolutely love straight away packaging really really nice as you can see under the water this is sort of like the seaweed here really cool packaging you've got the classic John Frieda uh, label on the top here really really good but what I love about this is it's for ocean cleanup partner so let's just tell you a little bit about this because I read this and I really really like this okay so UK immerse hair in a sea of moisture infused with nutrient rich seaweed this gentle sodium lithium sulfate and SLES sulfate free shampoo instantly detangles with a rush of nourishing moisture with silky smooth soft hair that you will want to run your fingers through. John Frieda Deep Sea Hydration Collection is working with Four Ocean to fight the ocean's plastic crisis. Okay, for every pound of plastic used in the three packs of this product collection, Four Ocean will clean up at least the same weight in ocean plastic, helping to reduce overall plastic waste in the ocean. This packaging uses post-consumer recycled plastic. Then it says go to the website for more details. So I absolutely love that if you're buying this product, this system, okay, that you're actually helping take, to my understanding, you're helping take plastic out of the ocean. So I think incredible. So regardless of if this product is any good, I love that innovation. I absolutely love that. So straight away, 10 out of 10 for them for that. Let's get back to the actual product. Okay. So moisturizing the shampoo, a rush of moisture to do do to detangle and restore smoothness in seconds with nutrient rich seaweed okay so fragrance wise it's an absolutely lush immense full fragrance it is literally that rush of almost 
freshness it is. Um, now, I've got one of my favourite aftershaves and body sprays, which I love to use. It's got sea salt in. And this straight away, if only you could smell this, um, straight away it's almost like that if you've ever opened um, sea salt, you know, like rock salt, in the kitchen or on the, in the dining room for the table or anything like that at all, or even if you've been uh, to the seaside or the beach or anything like that with the salt and the sand and one thing or another, that smell is exactly what you get from using this product. And I absolutely love that freshness. If only the formula was slightly different, it would be absolutely perfect. And I would probably only ever buy this. That's a little bit of a like, because I like to try other products. But this is that good, okay? However, there is a little bit of a tweak, I think, John Fred and Eater of their formula. Right, so moisturizing shampoo. It is, because it's a sodium lithium sulfate uh, free product range, it lathers actually surprisingly really, really well. It's very nice. I like it. It really does work. However, okay, we're going to get back to that, ha however, in just a moment. Really, really nice. So hold on to that thought for a moment. The conditioner, it comes across as it's rich, it's intense, for, it's really nourishing, it looks after the hair. So you wash the shampoo out straight away. I always do a second cleanse. So one, to get the product out of my hair. Number two, then to cleanse my follicles, my scalp, and the lengths and ends of my hair. Conditioner, leave it on for a couple of minutes, wash it off. Amazing. It feels soft. It feels silky. The products smell great. They look after your hair. Amazing. However, okay, now let's talk about that however. What this doesn't do very well is if you've got a lot of product buildup, it doesn't cleanse your hair particularly great. Now, even after two shampoos, it's really difficult. I mean, I've got a lot of product in today. Okay. When I used this and I had, this was actually a couple of days ago, I used this first thing in the morning and I had to, uh, I had to be at the office. Um, and I was going to wear my hair sort of in a, in a, um, sort of, I like, sometimes I like to pass a straightener through it and then sort of flick it around so it looks really quite cool, quite edgy. And so it shows the length. I couldn't do that because I could feel that there was a product left in my hair. After using this twice, it still hadn't removed what I wanted it to remove because I actually go to bed with my hair slicked back like this with product. Um, I always, strangely enough, let you into a little bit of a secret, I always style my hair before I go to bed as well. And it's in this style here. And that is because I've had that many health problems and things in the, in the past and in the background and still juggling at the moment. Um, I've been unwell in the night, and this is not me sounding vain, but I've had to go to A&E a couple of times in the last six weeks, and I absolutely hate looking a mess, because my hair literally, it's straight and it's fine, and I've got a lot of it, but it's straight and it's fine, but yet it kicks, and it almost goes like, um, that it's been ultra curled, almost, if you can imagine that, so in the middle of the night, if I've not been ready, and I can't, I've just got to go, it's like, my mum had just had a major operation, um, in January, and there was one particular night in her recovery, we had to take her to an out-of-hours clinic, um, and to get her looked after, and to get her back on the road, um, and thankfully, she's doing incredibly well now, by the way, to all my subscribers, who asked, and had mentioned, and give their, their best wishes, so thank you for that, um, and I was ready in the middle of the night. So there we go. Let you into a little hint. With this in the morning, does not wash out the product in my hair. Okay. So for me, does not work. Does not work because it does not cleanse the product out of my hair. So hairspray, free spray, root spray, all of those type great things. Doesn't do it. So John Frieder, if they only tweaked that formula and perhaps made it a little bit stronger in terms of cleansing, it would be absolutely incredible because it is moisturizing it is detangling it's all of those great things it really does look after the hair if you're somebody who only needs that light cleanse however if you're someone like myself who uses a lot of products then this isn't going to cut it for you unfortunately okay so in terms of though if you've got colored hair brightly colored hair and you don't really use too much product then this would be really really good for you okay however please don't quote me on that you have to try it of course for yourself so that was the big however. So I thought, fair representation of this, let's ask somebody else in my household. So my mum's always really, really keen on trying all different shampoos and conditioners. She has beautiful hair, very, very long hair. In fact, actually, she's recently just had five inches cut off of it. So it's no longer super, super long. Um, but it is still long. And it's coloured. She's got fine hair. She's got loads of hair, more than me. Um, but she actually didn't like this. And the thing what I found really quite strange was... Mum was using this, okay, for a couple of days. And then it wasn't until she actually said to me, she didn't know what it was, but her hair didn't feel the same. And I thought, what do you mean it didn't feel the same? And so let's have a look. I had a look for her, and 
When I looked at it, I could feel straight away it was the product buildup of the hairspray and things she'd been using. I said, that's because, mum, you need to use a sulfate shampoo to cleanse your lengths and ends of your hair all the way through. My mum then used, reverted back to one of our old shampoos and conditioner systems, which we had. Um, I mean, I review so many on my channel, so we've always got loads in this family home. And um, straight away, completely back to amazing. The shine, the life, the vitality came back for that deep cleanse of all that product buildup was removed, which this system didn't. And my mum's got coloured hair, fine hair, lots of it very long. So I don't think, unfortunately, this will be around for very long. I love it. I love the moisture element. I love the smell. I love the Four Ocean Cleanup Partner Certified Program. Absolutely love that. John Frieda should do more of that. Um, but in terms of looking after... Longer hair, I mean, mine's moving to my shoulders. Short hair may be absolutely amazing, but just needs to be stronger on that cleanse. And that would be really, really great. The conditioner, I want to say it's perfect, okay? It's not quite, it's quite heavy. It's quite cakey. But then when you wash it out, um, it's nice. It is nice. However, I just think it could be a little bit lighter, but that's me just kind of picking a fault, probably for the sake's sake. It is a really, really great system. And as I say, I would buy it again if it was on offer. Um, currently at the moment here, where I buy a lot of my products from Boots here in the UK. I think it's for around seven to eight pounds. I paid less than that, about 450 on Amazon UK. Um, so price does vary considerably. It's not cheap, I'll be honest with you. When you get up to around about the nine pounds mark, I know with cost of living crisis all over the world. Can you afford to pay nearly 18 pounds for a shampoo conditioner of, what's this, 250 mil? Yeah, 250 mil. I know, doesn't last particularly long. However, John Frieda, yeah. Whereas, turn it around completely, the Pro Filler Shampoo Conditioner for fine hair, making your hair appear thick and fuller, amazing. I will attach that at the end of this clip because it is a beautiful range and one I absolutely love and would recommend to anybody with fine hair, women or men. Incredible. This, give it a try. It is lush. However, just with that however. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. Thank you very much for being there. And as ever, I absolutely do recommend it, but with a however. <laughs> and find that out for yourself. Okay, so thank you very much for visiting my channel. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye for now.